Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. It's season 34, and this is war number two, and we're going up against an alliance called Storm's Brew. All right, so we're gonna go in here and check out what they have in store. Looks like they have not banned my Spider-Man 2099, so that's a good thing, like that. Who have they banned? All right, Corvus, Doom, and Human Torch. All right, let's uh, take a preview here. I take path three, sections one and two. All right, so I've got to deal with Doc Ock, who's not a difficult uh, opponent to fight. The nodes might make things interesting. I always hate seeing the static defense because I'm not going in here with uh, shock immune champions. So, uh, Claire will be my best bet for this one. She should take away that armor, so there's less likelihood of me stacking up a whole bunch. And she can also heal back some of the health. Uh, then we've got Venom. Hmm. Claire again. Um, what is their global? Oh, Unstoppable Armor is back. Okay, well, I don't think that should be a problem. And oh, we got Man-Thing. Now, if you guys have been watching, you already know that he's a pain on this node. He really is. Um, Warlock's not a good option for him. Uh, Spider-Man 2099 is not a good option. Black Widow is not a good option. Although, of the champs I've brought in, she would be the better option. Um, but, okay, uh, Path 2 doesn't have an opponent on that first one. Usually, the person that doesn't have one uh, will take that mini. That's what I usually do. Uh, so whoever they bring in, I hope they are going to bring in, uh, a counter for that man thing. Otherwise we're just going to take a, a death or two and, uh, get him down. All right. We got Domino in the middle here and this can be a pain. Yep. Especially that, uh, power snack definitely could be a pain. Um, Warlock can do that fight. I would just have to be very, very careful and slow. Uh, we got Killmonger. Don't often see Killmonger these days as a defender here. Um, that EMP modification and the bubble shield, that's going to be a problem. Because he tends to be really aggressive. And the way that I fight him, I take blocked hits. Uh, so that can potentially be a very big problem. Um, if I have to take him, Spider-Man 2099 would be good, uh, if I can play well, uh, if I can keep from getting trapped in the corner, if I can bait out his specials, if he throws his specials well, uh, if I can intercept a lot, um, he can do that fight. Then in, uh, section two, we've got Colossus. You already know Claire can do that fight. Uh, Thing... Uh, I would do Claire, but as always, that fight is a little dicey um, if you don't know how to fight Thing or if he doesn't cooperate. Uh, so I'll be using Black Widow Clairvoyant on that fight. <clears throat> and then we got Warlock for that mini, uh, and that's going to be Warlock. Uh, I would take Warlock with Warlock. And we got Nimrod as the boss, Spider-Man 2099, all day, every day. Uh, so that's who I would use. Now, we've got this guy here. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. This one is Spider-Man 2099 as well. He can take that node. 
you know, I want to save him for the boss, but he can take that um, Ebony Maw right there. That's a good node for him. Um, as far as Bishop goes, Warlock could take that fight uh, if needed. Um, Mangog. Um, I don't know. I'm not too confident of fighting Mangog with uh, any of the guys that I brought in. I mean, I can fight him. I'm talking about a uh, clean one-shot fight. Not confident in that. You know, he'll go down, but he might take me with him maybe a couple times. Don't know. Um, but that boss is mine if nobody takes him. That boss is mine. So that's the team I'm going in with. Black Widow, uh, Warlock, and Spider-Man 2099. And that should do it. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. All right, I'm back. And this is the team that I'm going to go in here with. I get to bring in my Spider-Man 2099. They did not ban him for a change. All right. So I take path three, as I mentioned earlier. First fight is going to be Dr. Octopus. Now, when I went into this fight, I was full of confidence because I was like, well, I've fought Doc Ock before, so I'm not worried about him. Well, see that unstoppable armor? Yeah. All right, so watch what happens. Okay. So I don't see any. All of a sudden, bam, he's unstoppable. I was like, wait, did, did, did I miss something? Was, was, did he have an armor up? Uh, okay, whatever. All right, so here we go. And so now I'm nervous. I'm like, well, I don't know what's going on. Look, there's an unstoppable. And I saw that. It broke up my flow. And I'm just like, all right, come on. Get out of the corner. I'm not I'm not trying to hear all that. And he's just hitting me. Just, just hitting me. I'm like, what is happening? I'm just getting tagged left and right. Boom, there's that unstoppable again. Lovely, lovely. And I'm like, well... I wasn't worried about the fight before. Now I'm worried. So I'm just trying to salvage this here. All right, trying to bait this out. There's the unstoppable popping up again. He's got another armor up. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. All right, good, good. And I'm in the corner again. Got to get out of there. I'm in Curse of Blood, so I'm healing up a little bit. All right, it's keeping me in there. It's keeping me in the fight. But you see, I, I hit and, and dash back real quick. But... Um, he was still immune to buffs at that time, so I could have kept going. And you see how I hit him with a special one? Because I ain't want to get near him for fear something would happen. I don't know what happened during that fight. But it seemed like I could not dash back out of the uh, uh, distance of his arms. He was just tagging me left and right. You know, I could almost hear him saying, oh, you wasn't worried about me, right? Yeah, I bet you're worried about me now. And he's right. I was worried about him after that. So I healed up uh, my Black Widow Clairvoyant. Breathed a sigh of relief. I didn't die on that one. Unstoppable armor. And I don't think Venom will be a problem. But then again, I thought that about uh, Doc Ock. So I'm, I'm worried now. I'm like, okay. You know, I, don't, I know he doesn't get a lot of armor ups. But let me... Play this a little bit slowly. All right, here we go. Everything's looking good. There's the armor up. All right. Okay, just bait this special out. He don't like to throw his specials every once in a while. All right, there we go. He threw it when I'm in the corner, uh, back against the wall, so I couldn't move anywhere. All right, so there we go. We pushed him back a little bit. Um, did a lot of damage. All right, here we go. Come on, come on. And I pushed him to that because he wanted to fire that special too. He just wanted to. There's nothing else I could do. He was going to just hold it until he could get a special two. So I was like, all right, just go ahead. Fire your special two off. That's what you want to do. And sometimes it's better to do that, okay? Because if I kept trying to bait it out, I was going to end up in that corner. And then 
who knows, he would probably fire it off right when I was in the middle of dashing back or something like that or blocking. Better just to leave that alone. Now, this man thing, I don't like dealing with this man thing. All right. Um, I don't remember who took the man thing. I know in one war, uh, and it may not have been this war, uh, I was asked to, to help out. And so I was like, sure, I'll help out. Um, I learned my lesson against trying to fight man thing with warlock. It just doesn't work out very well. Uh, so I would have gone in with black widow clairvoyant and stayed in curse of plague and just tried to do the best that I could. Uh, now there are some options, you know, if somebody brings in Odin and puts on that shock resistance, we're golden. We could do that. You know, uh, warlock can do that fight. Uh, and I'm, and I, my Odin is, uh, usually in Alliance quest, but I could start bringing him. Like if I see, uh, a man thing there, I could bring my Odin, but that would also mean that I couldn't bring one of my other champs and Black Widow, Clairvoyant and Warlock most likely will stay. So Spider-Man 2099 would most likely go out because I really just bring him in for the boss. All right, so standard fight. You've guys seen me do this fight many, many times uh, against Colossus. The unstoppable armor does make it a little bit more dicey, but I've learned to just kind of keep an eye out for the timer and uh, go from there. Now, they've already taken out the mini on the left up here. So I got to take out Thing. Now, Thing is a little tricky on this node because there's a explosive personality. Normally, I don't even worry about that, okay? Because she can just, uh, you know, uh, uh, nullify, but you can't nullify Thing. And if you get caught in a situation where you have to maybe hit into his block in order to build up his power you're in trouble so i've got to fight him and i got to be careful all right here we go just like that push him to 15 then bait the special out that's what i gotta do all right fire this off boom all right he didn't fire that off so that was good push him to 15 and then bait out the special. So far, so good. We're not getting ourselves into that uh, situation where that we really don't wanna be in that situation. Really don't. See, like right there, dangerous. And see, I can't uh, nullify that armor up. So I can't do that very often, okay? So here we go. Boom, I hit him with a heavy because I knew the heavy would not only push him to 15, but it would also give him enough power that I could bait out a special one. Okay, so that's also a little something that you can do. All right, and then boom, fire off my special three. And I know that his protection won't help him because it'll kick in after. Boop. I just love that little finger touch at the end. All right, so here we go. And you can see his, uh, you know, his protection triggered, but it didn't really help him. I learned that the hard way. All right, so here we go. I don't really want to hit into his block, which I normally would have done there. Okay, so instead I get my ends with his heavy attacks. There we go. We baited it out. And he's down. And that is how you fight Thing on that node. Now... Don't always do that well, but this time it went extremely well. That is how you want to do that. So didn't have to bother with this many. And I was asked to help out. You can see here. And I was asking, I said, okay, who do you want me to take? Okay. Um, not the hazard shift, but, you know, do you want me to take Penny? And they were like, yeah, help, help with Penny. I do not like fighting Penny. I really don't. Um, she, she's so annoying. And I do need to learn to fight her. 
and I am practicing uh, fighting her, but ugh, very annoying. Now, I probably should not have gone in here with Black Widow Clairvoyant at first, but I thought, all right, you know, we should be able to do a little something. All right, so here we go. All right, all right. And I like, I like doing that. I like um, countering her heavy with my own heavy. Okay, I also like baiting out the special one and boom, hitting her with a heavy. That doesn't always work. And I know Kabam had fixed some things like, oh man, when I do a heavy and she auto blocks it, because that didn't always happen. And look at look at look at my health. Look at my health just going down. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? Hate fighting her. Hate fighting her. And dead. I ain't even get a chance to uh, give her with a last uh, uh, heavy attack. So I'm just like, all right, all right. Let's go back in there. Uh, Warlock has not been used yet, so let's use some Warlock, right? I like Warlock. I really do. Okay. And watch Warlock go to work. All right. So I'm hitting into the, you know, her block. And then boom, put that bleed on her. And look at my D-Gen, which you get um, when he's awakened. But look at look at the, the work I'm doing already. Okay. And then almost got me. Almost got me. And I'm really afraid to fire my special off at this point. And then why did I just stop blocking right there? I just got hit. But that's why I don't like firing my special. See, I can't even recover fast enough. You know, I fire my special, I'm getting hit, and then boom, in the middle, auto block. And then she can counter. I'm like, ah, hate that. Really dislike fighting her. All right, so there we go. Got some heavy attacks in there. Boom, boom, boom. We ain't playing with you. And then there she is, sitting in the corner. Ugh, I hate that. But we got her down. All right, so that's the last fight that I did for this particular war. I didn't get a chance to fight Nimrod with my Spider-Man 2099. The hazard shift uh, node was still up, and so I was not about to fight Nimrod with that up. And I waited and waited, and they took it down. Um, you know, he, there's a node up there at the top as well. And so... But we, we got it. We got the boss down. All right. So I'll be back in a minute and you'll find out how we did in this war. And we're back. And unfortunately, we lost this war as well. So far, we're on a losing streak. Uh, we lost the first war. Now we've lost the second war. Let's see if we do any better for the rest of the season. All right, so that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.